We have a, an audience from all over the world here this morning. So I'd um, firstly, thank you for coming. Some of you at Saturday afternoon, some of you at some um, Sunday morning. The topic of today's presentation is collaboration. I'd like to introduce Kristen Wallers and Kate Jenkins. And uh, these ladies are from the Barossa and are going to speak to us today about their a couple of collaborative projects that they've been working on. Hi, I'm Kristen Wallers. Um, yeah, and I work together with Kate Jenkins um, in the Barossa, which is in South Australia. Kate and Kristen have prepared a, uh, a video presentation uh, for, for us today. So they had two video presentations. The first presentation is on um, their piece, Don't Get Too Comfortable, and on their general collaboration. And the second presentation is on their exhibition, Bird Talk. So um, to make it a little easier, they've actually pre-recorded their discussion and PowerPoint. So we'll be able to play that for you. And we will pause after the first uh, video for you to ask any questions or for them to have a chat with you. And then we'll move into the second presentation. Okay. Hi, we're going to talk about collaboration. I'm Kristin Wallers. And I'm Kate Jenkins. Just a little back, bit of background about me. I, um, I'm working, I work as a studio potter and have been doing that for the last six years or so. I originally trained at the Tasmanian Art School um, in visual arts and majored in ceramics. I worked at the Jam Factory here in South Australia, came over here in the early 80s um, and worked as a studio potter, um, trainee studio potter in the ceramics studio there. Uh, and uh, and then um, after finishing there and after a few years, I started working in community development, um, first as an arts officer in the arts and then in health. Um, I've also been also involved in, uh, after meeting my partner, Peter uh, Hart, who was a woodworker and knife maker, I um, got in very much involved in the environment and hence became chairperson of the Brossel Bush Gardens based in Nuriutka in the Barossa. And through that, I met up with Kristen. Um, and that's where our collaborations uh, sort of started, really. Hmm. Yes. So my name is Kristen Wallace. Um, I grew up and went to university in Germany and studied in Berlin. And then I came to New Zealand, I went to New Zealand, and then I came to Australia. And in the Blue Mountains, I worked in environmental education. And I started mosaics in the Blue Mountains and uh, round about 2003 self-taught but I did a lot of courses. I taught, my, taught people and did workshops and then I came over here to the Barossa in 2010 and yeah and came to this place and wanted to carry on with environmental education, but I also was really interested in mosaics. And so that all came together and that's where it started. Don't get too comfortable was the first project that, uh, that we ever worked on together. And um, it, was a, it was an exploration. It was a lovely exploration. We, uh, I knew nothing about a mosaics, but I'd always had a fascination. I wasn't, I was working as a visual artist, mainly painting and doing a bit of uh, textiles, um, but mainly, um, yeah, and but I sort of had an interest in uh, in mosaics and, 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 and I met this Kristen and she wanted to do some work in the Barossa and work with someone. And so um, we, through my role as chairperson at the Bush Gardens, um, we decided that we'd work on a piece for the actual Bush Gardens for an exhibition. And um, this was a project. Yes, and so what happened, and Kate was really thrown into the deep end, but we come to that a bit later. Um, we made a chaise long and we started from scratch, as you can see in the top right hand, left hand corner. Um, I had a board from a person who uh, built their house and that's the base of that chaise long. And so we designed the seat from scratch with polystyrene 
And I had just done a workshop with Sherry Warner Hunter and learned how to cover polystyrene with cement render. And so there is the, yes, I would go sort of from that learning, I turned that into this. And working with Kate was really um, great because her skills in design and her training in the arts um, complemented my sort of technical skills and added to, uh, well, we, we complemented each other in, in that. Mm. And uh, a lot of the birds, we, we, we sort of worked with photos and all sorts of things, but um, mainly did the drawings. I mainly did the drawings. And then, and through that process, Kristen encouraged her to draw and do drawings. And that was a really lovely way of, um, one of the first skills that we shared together about how to place the birds, where to put them. And and uh, you can see from the materials, um, we got materials from everywhere. It was basically raiding Kristen's um, stash. stash. And we had um, most of the birds and the animals. We had a lizard on there somewhere too. And uh, and we mainly did the, those creatures in glass. Uh, and, and then the background was all done with tiles and... And you can see the sort of um, flooring tiles, wall tiles, um, all the different tiles that we could find. Some were really hard to cut. And so for me, who'd never done any mosaics, it was a real uh, baptism of fire, <laughs> especially when Kristen went to Europe for a few weeks or for a month or so and left me to continue. But, that, uh, but it was fun. And I learned an awful lot by doing that. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a, it was a wonderful experience. And it, for me, it's really interesting um, to look at this and sort of in this first seat at 2011, um, the under mentor of the seat, you will see a whole picture of it, um, but added into it these birds. And it's not just the birds sitting there, they all have movement. And that's, I think, one of the fortes with Kate. She can... Uh, taught me and we we've got birds in movement and you know on the bottom here you see this magpie flying and the um Adelaide, rosella. rosella sort of taking off and so there's actually stuff happening in this hole it's it's like a big picture but it's actually a, a useful piece of furniture and i think that's that's something that i've carried right through either they move or you can use it the things i make so mm, yeah and I think just as a as an experiment with um, with materials, it was uh, it was it was a wonderful experience um, and experiment. And and if collaboration is about working with and developing skills and knowledge, this was truly that sort of experience yes. where um, you know sometimes uh, our conversations can be a little bit heated or we have a lot of laughter, we have heat, we have all of those sorts of things. But it actually what comes out of it is really um, a, a wonderful expression of both of us. Hmm. So there comes the, this is the finished piece. That's the finished piece. And uh, it's it's actually a good, I, I think it would sit about two and a half people, at least definitely two bums on there. Hmm. Um, and um, so down the front of it, uh, the, the little drawings are drawings that we played with and how we could put drawings onto tiles. We used um, uh, drawings that we then photocopied onto um onto waterproof paper and then sandwiched between glass. And they're all the native flowers. And all the birds are birds from our local area. Um, and then there's also uh, frogs and butterflies and lizards as well there. And the spider here as oh, well. Oh, and a spider, that's right, yes. yeah. And to this day, this chair is now sitting in a private garden, which was the icing on the cake because we sold it. So that's to a very dear friend. Mm. what we discovered okay we shared a passion for the environment and we both loved working with in community um yeah so and we just we 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 developed these skills and and the way of telling stories and expressions in our art form which mm. is mosaic mm. and and um we've also worked with other artists but not on this first piece mm -hmm. um that was part of an exhibition though and and that whole thing of sharing learning developing knowledge 
it, it is it's truly a collaboration because this seat wouldn't have happened unless the two of us had worked together. I would have never tackled that by myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't do it full stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kristen and Kate, for that fantastic presentation and talk. Now, what else can you elaborate on for me about this? I've been, I've been thinking as you, as I was watching um, the video, did it evolve or did you have everything planned? It evolved, but we, as you can see in some of the pictures, we actually drew the hmm. lines of movement and so forth and where the birds go on the sofa. There was still space for, um, yeah, evolving design, but we we um, we had the under mantle drawn on because otherwise this thing wouldn't have worked, you know, especially on the seat, which is sort of like a flowing river. Um, it, but there was huge amounts of discussion and um, yeah, and as we said in the presentation, that that these discussions are sometimes really fierce but um, they're always about the project. So, um, yeah. So a, a combination a, of that. A combination, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was such a large project. I mean, it wasn't just a small piece and it had to just evolve. Um, I think that, I think the area that we started on was very much that back that you saw with the Rosella and working out there and suddenly you think, oh, it'd be nice to have something there. Okay, a spider. You know, and so it was a lot of that too. So there was a lot of that, um, yeah, just uh, working off each other, um, other's energy, I think. And the, the bit along the front with the, it says, um, don't get too comfortable in, in tile. And the book, that came afterwards. It was, yeah, and then the back of it, by the time we got to the back of it, we were really quite tired of the thing because it had been going for quite some months. And, um, and I had to have some, um, I had some tiles that I'd found in a dump on a, some land, a heritage block of land that I own with um, other, other friends. And um, so we made this very... Um, uh, a much more, uh, not a more realistic, wasn't realistic, it was a much more abstract um, piece. And so the back of it, which we haven't got a photo of, which is a shame, is very much an abstract um, uh, landscape. And so we just let each other, other's imagination flow. And that was a really good way of collaborating. Thank you. And a question has come in from Michalina uh, from Canada. She said, I think exposure to mixed media is so important in creative expansion. How did your how did your different mediums affect your creative practice together? I, I guess for me, it was just an, another way of expressing. And I guess one of the things that you'll see, I mean, I've gone very much back into making pots again now and have um, uh, put mosaics aside. Although what I have done is I've actually, um, when you're a potter, you always have bits left over. Um, bits of pots that don't work, experiments and all that. And I've actually broken some of those up and I have made mosaics out of just shards and, and they've been really effective. So that's really, um, yeah, and been another expression for me. Uh, and I guess uh, that was, yeah, that's probably one of the biggest things for me is just look, looking at my um, visual art uh, uh, expression in different ways. And that's been a really useful thing. Um, can I just add to this? on this uh, on this chase long, um, as we said in the uh, presentation, um, we wanted to include those flowers. Um, they are all endangered species in this area, and so the we figured out the way of having these paintings on waterproof paper between glass, and so there's and also the recycling in the way of those found tiles on the back. Um, so it was a um, sort of exchange with the materials that we had and the the ideas we had. So it's sort of that's the the development and the conversation we had about that piece. I think it also shows because that whole a belief that we have in sustainability of of of, uh, of practice and and it does lead very nicely into our next exhibition. Uh, next part of our talk, which is, of course, is bird talk. The next part of our um, talk on collaboration is about an exhibition that Kristen and I worked on together. And it was a follow on from what we had discovered through doing the previous project. 
and it was called Bird Talk. Bird Talk um, gave us an opportunity to focus on specific issues that have come up for us, um, which it, drawing attention to the issues around biodiversity, which were uh, which we, we were losing in the Barossa. We were losing habitat, food sources for birds and animals and insects, increasing imbalance of the species within the Barossa, only uh, plants as well as um, birds. Um, and also there was an increase in feral species. Birds were an indicator of the health of the environment and people love birds. And, we, and we've known that through our research that if you actually focus on one of the issues, not about biodiversity, but on one of the things that are fixed um, by the loss of biodiversity, then people get engaged. Mm. And that's where the birds come in. Oh. So here we are back in our studio. I am frantically looking for tiles and sorting them. And I think I was ready to chuck them the way the photo looked. But we, we worked a lot with ceramic tiles in the first project, also with floor tiles and with a lot of glass tesserae. So here we are still working with ceramic tiles. Um, also exploring colour through the tiles too. We yeah, actually... and the colours were mm. when Johnson Johnson still had the really good colours and the really easy to cut tiles. Mm. Those were the days. Anyway, so um, yeah, so that's what we worked with. It was also a wonderful opportunity to play with the different birds and to explore the birds too, because this little um, ottoman that I'm working on uh, are the bee eaters. And I just mm. fell in love with bee eaters. I love the sound, I love what they are. And they're just so colorful. And the Johnson tiles were an opportunity to actually play with that. Yes, hence developing better my skills with cutting and doing other things. Yeah. <laughs> So here we are, and um, again, Kate is experimenting. I think, is that a honey eater as well? No, a bee eater. Yeah, that's bee another eater. bee eater. Yeah. Yeah. And I did the feral bird eating the grapes. So that's introduced right. species and the feral bird, still fun on an ottoman. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, this was a, a series of ones, uh, of, of pieces. I picked up pieces of cut board that we had and just use the shape that was there. And this was a, um, a series where I did, um, I think I did the kingfisher, uh, the um, blue winged uh, kookaburra and the, blue, uh, and the bee eaters. And just for me, it was a real play in um, uh, finding out more about uh, and, and Demento mm -hmm. uh, and, and also playing with color and how you could actually use uh, the colours and work with different colours and tones together. And it was a wonderful way of exploring with colour and design. So here's a piece that Kate made from uh, glass tiles and tesserae. Classic mosaic uh, elements are in this. And so looking back at this, we actually followed a lot of mosaic walls, which is very nice. So changing under Mento and um, yeah, just playing. I, for me, it was just about playing, but also learning at the same time. And having Kristen alongside me was very useful because I learned so much in how to break rules, but but not. And it was wonderful. These um, series was called uh, Night Choristers, I think, or something like that. Yeah. So here we are again with the. I think. That's the they're the king the, they're the kingfishers aren't yeah they? they're the kingfishers that's another yeah. ottoman so another piece which is we built ourselves um, uh, the ottomans there was quite a series of them and then we we tiled them with with the birds and um, it's another piece of useful furniture too mm, and went with that with this project too we actually also did um, some workshops. And showed other people how to use those. And that's that's been a lovely collaboration that we have used through Barossa Mosaics, yep. was to actually teach other people how to use, uh, to do prepare Ottomans and how to do the design and drawing um, for something which is three-dimensional rather than two-dimensional. So we've, we've actually, through the working together, we've 
um, discovered lots of things that we can actually share with other people too. Yeah, and sort of there's certainly a workshop and learning and, and teaching component. Mm -hmm. And um, I must say, I'm probably drawing the birds beforehand before we, we put them on the Ottomans or something that was certainly a, a learning curve for me and playing with color, working out the colors and not just saying, well, the orange works with the green, but then realizing why the orange works with the green. Mm. So this was a really big project. We went from little Ottomans to proper chairs. Um, these are again built from scratch. They have reinforcing inside and are polystyrene and then rendered. Um, and yeah, and they have these beautiful birds on them. Crimson rosellas. And then the back is a bit of a surprise. And yes. And we both, uh, once again, um, I did one back, Kristen did the other back. And so we actually had different ways of, um, of playing with these wonderful three-dimensional objects. It was, a, it was a great experiment and a great challenge, but yeah, really good fun. Hmm. Then I went to Orsoni in Venice and uh, apart from being absolutely in Smalti Paradise, I learned to use Hammer and Hardy to use it with glass, but taking these skills back opened another completely amazing um, world for us because we both love the Barossa stone. Angerston is built on a hill which consists of marble and all kinds of colors and is just amazing. So, um, and, and the whole area here has, has stone, Mantina, um, is what kind of stone is it? Uh, uh, I can't remember now. Yeah, you'd, anyway, you'd so we, yeah. we, we learned how to cut stone and marble with the hammer and hardy and um, some cutters and so forth and made some birds with stone and marble. So this peregrine falcon, um, there is a pair in the Barossa, patrols the whole Barossa. And we asked the person who photographed them whether we can use his photographs as a template. And we made the sitting one. And then we made this landing one, which was a great way of sort of integrating the movement and so forth. And I kept that one. <laughs> <laughs> and what um, we managed with the Mantina um, uh, slate uh, or stone was it had different colors. So all of that colors you can see through the wing there is from the one sort stone source, but just picking little bits, the picking different pieces. We found a local stonemason who cut stone for us uh, into bars so we could then use the hammer and hardy. Um, so it was a really good experiment. And, and we also used a bit of smalty on the feet and the um, through the, the, the face and the, uh, and the eye. But yes, it, it gave us a really, um, Using the Hammer and Hardy and discovering about Hammer and Hardy gave us such a, a, another wealth of um, experience and um, uh, skills base. It was, mm. uh, yeah, it was a challenge, but it was, a, it was really good fun. Yes, and we definitely marked the Hammer now with smalty and stone on either side. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kristen and Kate. Those stone birds are just outstanding. I just love the beautiful natural colours of the stone and the the, the beautiful undermento and the movement. And the, is that something that was new to, to both of you, that particular method of, of working with stone and the hammer and hardy in that way? Well, I'm a, I'm a, I've never worked in that at all. You know, <laughs> I went over to Melbourne and there's a um, mosaic artist there who does a lot of Hammond Hardy work. His name I cannot remember, Kristen would know. And I bought a hammer and hardy from him and then came home and put the, the hardy into a piece of wood that I found and then took it up to Kristen and said, this is what we're going to use. And, and we just got cracking from there on, really. And it's just been really good fun. But, I mean, I, I, my feeling about creating anything, and I'm, I'm a visual artist, I'm not just a mosaic artist, I'm a visual artist, is that you actually, you, the, 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 your material inspires what you make. You're, in, uh, you know, and, 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 and what you see around you. I mean, we love the birds and we've got, actually, we've got a peregrine very close to where we live too, but visits occasionally where I live at Anlaby, um, which is north of the Barossa. 
And yeah, just to watch those birds fly and then to be saying, yes, I, I love those birds. I can see them. And, and, and the wings, the under, under, under parts of the wings are just exquisite. And the stone was a perfect vehicle for doing that to get the movement uh, of the wing and the shape and the form. And mosaic's quite good because you can get that really three-dimensional, um, especially working um, with something like stone or smalty, you get that lovely three-dimensional um, quality. Um, you can see the progression that we made. The um, This sitting uh, paragon is our first one. And we were still struggling and playing a little bit. And then you get the flying one or the one that's just coming into land. And you can see how within you know, between, and there was one bird in the middle, between the two, three birds, we managed to get so much more into the work that we were doing and, and, and just loved it. Um, and so that to me is, uh, yeah, it's all new, but it's all fun. Thank you, Kate. And um, you enjoyed working in that method, Kristen? I did definitely, yes, but it, it was a new Good. discovery to us. Um, yeah, Kate went to Fabian at the Mosaic Republic, Republic. Thank you. He sold you. the uh, Hammond Hardy to us. And yeah, I've been using it ever since. Um, yeah, and it just the, the, that's the, the whole collaboration we did. It's, it's also, and I think that's what our talk shows, is the exploration of material and the expansion of the materials we use. And so now in my work, um, I use the whole breadth of it. And um, I'm sort of also going back to basics in some ways. So yes, um, definitely enjoyed that, but it also yeah, widened our experience. And using local materials, which is also part of our environmental consciousness. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, we have all these colors and all these different marbles and granites in the Barossa. Um, so yeah. What we've managed to do, Caitlin, is to make a, having a really good um, connection with some of our local people who are producing stuff, who are the stones, um, both, um, I think both, all the projects that we've worked on, we've worked on the, the stone, uh, the quarries and those, they've actually donated the, work, the stones to us, not that we're using lots, but they've donated to it. And then they get, um, they get uh, advertised or promoted through what we do. And so there's sort of, it's, it's all of that collaboration across, and I think that that's really good. And um, your, your collaboration has gone further than this, and I think next time, I was speaking to Kristen through the week, and um, we're going to theme a couple of other presentations in the future about interdisciplinary practice and interdis interdisciplinary collaboration, and also another topic for discussion on, on social mosaic and 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 the role of that so really sincere thanks and is there anything you want to finish with Kristen and Kate? Um, I would like to say yes um, uh, we this this has also been a technical learning experience because of putting this powerpoint into zoom um, that was fun and um, I was actually quite concerned about it but then we worked it out together and the last presentation is a result of that because we got very comfortable and um, the presentation turned out to be 15 minutes. So fair enough, and this is enough of us now. Um, thank you for that opportunity.